Okay, the first step here in making um, suck down appliances on 3D printed models is to coat the model with a very thin layer of PAM nonstick cooking spray. Then we use this little stream of air to blow off around the model to make a very, very thin layer covering the entire model. Now these models are ready to go in the vacuum form machine or Biostar or whatever, whatever you use to create this here. Now, we generally use a few instruments here whenever we're making or separating the models from the plastic. The first instrument we use are these black handle scissors. I believe we got them from Dent Supply. We also use just some regular plastic cutting scissors. We use this instrument here. It has a beaver tail that sometimes you can use this to wedge in between the plastic and the model to help sort of displace the model out of the tray. Then finally we come through with the polishing, this is a hand Dremel tool that we purchased at Home Depot. And what we found to work the best is this felt wheel here that you can purchase on Amazon. So the first step is to cut around the periphery with the black handle scissors. Then make one vertical cut right up the center here, like this. Now what happens is a lot of times, as the tray wraps on the back here and here, it creates an undercut, so it's difficult to remove the tray from the model. Just take the scissors, and you can cut. And don't worry about cutting in the model. That's not a, what we're removing is not an important part of the appliance. So we can go ahead and just cut that portion of the tray off. The nice thing about these scissors is it actually does cut the model as well. So you can see I cut areas away of the tray, and now we're going to try to see if it will allow me to just, I just grab this here, and I flex it, and it should allow you to just pop it right off. The next step is to go around the periphery of the model. Usually we cut about two millimeters below the gingiva. And we found that scalloping is just not necessary. Okay. Then the last step is to pick up our Dremel tool and simply go all the way around the model. The great thing about this felt wheel is that it actually slightly heats the edge and melts any sharp, sharp points, which makes it nice and smooth for the patient to wear. So just going around the model a few times really makes this nice and smooth. Okay, the one final check, make sure I have all the rough edges off, and this is ready for patient delivery. I'm going to do a lower model here, and I want to demonstrate with this here, sometimes the tray will get blocked into or sucked into an undercut. So we follow the same procedure here, just cut around the periphery. One vertical cut right here. And then sometimes you have to go back and trim with these scissors the undercut away from the model. And that helps unlock it. Then again, make sure we cut off the heel portion here. It's very important you do this, otherwise it's extremely difficult to remove the model. And let's see if it will allow me to remove this now. There we go. Okay, and that's it.